Well, good morning, good day, or good evening, of course, depending on where you are in the world. It's the Sketch Monkey here, and today, it's all about trucking. I personally don't know much about trucks, but a friend of mine just messaged me the other day. He said, you need to take a look at the, this is the Silverado 2500 HD. Uh, he said he didn't like it. And I was like, all right, let's see, let's see what's up with it. And he asked me if maybe we can do something to it or redesign it. I said, sure, we can give it a, give it a shot and see, uh, see what's going on here. So this is obviously the truck in question, the 2500 HD. I think it's a 2020 model. It might have come out in 2019. I have to do my research before I put up, put out this video. Otherwise, I'm sure I'm going to know in the comments if I get that wrong. So the thing is, growing up in Sweden, we don't have a lot of these trucks. So it doesn't matter what type of truck it is out on the street. They still look a bit weird to me, the proportions of a truck in general. But this, to me, I don't know, it looks good. It looks more subtle than the Camaro design. Uh, they did make this center bar going straight through the headlights here. And I am not sure about this angle here of the headlight, but those are just minor details. What really bugs me with this design, let me show you. Let me, let me just zoom all the way in here. This thing right here, let me fill it out for you so you can see it properly. Here we go, all the way around. So you see this? You see the Chevy Chevy logo there? It's kind of off center and it, it just annoys me more than it should actually. I don't know why I'm so annoyed by it, but it just looks like, oh, I just wanna pop it out, pop it out pop it out <laughs> and move it to the center. I don't, I can't do it in real life. So I'm going to do it here in Photoshop. Maybe put it somewhere there, somewhere there, or I don't know, somewhere where they always are, because you know me, I, I don't like to change anything about cars. I'm just kidding, obviously. I love to change everything about cars and this detail right here is no different. So let's see if we can help out my friend and also go check out his channel. He's just firing up his YouTube channel. He does some amazing reviews of especially trucks. He's a truck guy, as I mentioned before. I'm gonna link his channel down below in the description. So if you're a truck guy or girl, definitely go check him out. Now let's jump into the redesign of this video. I haven't done any research or anything, so this is just gonna be a lot of experimenting and see how things goes. All right, here we are inside of Photoshop. Once again, I'm doing a lot of Photoshopping these days and I'm having so much fun doing these videos, uh, especially the older ones. Because if you have an old car, the contrast between the, the first stock image and the redesign or makeover or whatever you want to call them, it's, it's stronger than if you have a modern car, car like this. But at the same time, these modern cars, they I like that a lot of brands now start to experiment and kind of feel the the response that they will get from uh, from doing some you know tiny crazy things. For example, one really good example is the new Camaro. It looks really weird when it first came out on pictures. You saw it, and uh, uh, me personally, I did not like it. But then I saw it in real life, and it's kind of grown on me now. And I, I really like it when I see it out on the streets, and especially the. Uh, the LEDs that goes like almost across the entire front. So that's one thing that I'm gonna implement here in this truck later on. I want to add a uh, an LED bar that goes from the top corner of the top LED here and all the way across to the other one. But in general, the, the I don't wanna say issues, but the things that I wanted to change with this truck is the front headlights in uh, in general. So I experimented with some uh, some different uh, ideas and this is the one that ended up in the video. Uh, I also wanted to add an air intake here because, you know, stuff behind... <laughs> stuff in the background needs some cooling. So I thought that looked uh, actually looked better than uh, than having the whole light go all the way down. That, that was probably the main issue, except for the, of course, uh, shabby badge there being, being off-centered. Cent off but the, the big headlights were probably the the main issue for me. And I know some of you are gonna say, but hey, it's a 2500 HD, it's not a 1500. You need massive lights in the front, just like the Ford F250, and I get that. But this is just 
what I like to see in uh, if I own this truck and if I could do whatever I wanted to it. So that's all that's what all these videos is about. It's just my own opinion. And everybody has his own opinion or her own or her own opinion. That's fine. But to me this is what I want this truck to look like. So, just sketching in some details here in the front working on the uh, the the front fascia, the graphics of the front. I also deleted the delete deleted deleted the lower part of the front bumper. If you go back in this video, you see that there is a plastic part sticking down there. I don't want that. Uh, the whole bottom of this car is actually going to change. If you stick around and watch this video to the end, you're going to see a massive change, which is probably going to be the biggest change of this redesign. I would say it's more of a custom video. I keep much of the original des design, but uh, I want to make it custom made. And that means lifting it up and changing the tires. And also, of course, this color, not sure if it's white or it could be gray. It also could be brown. I'm not really, or beige or something. So we're gonna change that color. But here we are. This is the big change that I was talking about. Just, we came this far in the redesign. So why not just lift the whole thing up? Just put it on some massive, off-road tires. I have no idea what these kits are called. Heavy duty, rough country, blah, 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 something like that. Uh, but I wanted to do that to this truck and just lift it up because if you have a truck, I think it kind of needs to be lifted and off the stock uh, height. And obviously when you copy paste stuff like this, you need to make it fit into the actual image that you're sketching. So I have to go around and uh, erase all the white that, that I don't need. And it takes a lot of time, but you get rewarded if you do it properly and it looks really good once you're finished with, with this work. And also when you fit things into the picture like this, you take it from another picture, the lighting is going to be off. So you need to address that as well. Uh, you want the same kind of lighting all around. And by that, I mean you need to figure out uh what the materials of the new uh things that you're pasting into your image how they would react to the light and the overall setting of the original image you can do that by using the burn tool or the uh, dodge tool or just use curves and of course i know all of this might sound like uh, a completely different language to you but i'm going to talk more in depth about all of this later on so that's exactly what I did right here. Just added some ground shadow and make, made the tires and the lift kit just fit into the picture. And now we're gonna jump into overlay. You know I like over, I love overlay layers. They're so much fun to just go over it and uh, play around with different colors. And I didn't know what kind of color I wanted. So I just picked one, uh, in this case I picked blue. It's not gonna end up being blue as you're going to see later on. But if once you put down a color like this, in one layer, you can just go into the hue slider and from there you can pick whatever color you want. And I'm gonna do that right here in a minute to show you what I'm talking about. And once you're done, once you've done with that, if you want, you can add some shine to it. You can add some shading to it with a bunch of different overlay layers. And also when you're doing this, think about all the details that you need to, that there are not supposed to be colored, such as the mud, I think this is called mud guards. I don't know. Uh, the thing, the plastic things around the tires, the headlights, of course, the mirrors, the door handles, they're all black plastic. So here I'm just sliding the hue saturation, uh, hue and saturation uh, slider to get the color that I want. And I think this looks really cool, that blue grayish. It kind of looks dirty, but I decided to go with green because this guy or girl right here is out in the in the in the forest <laughs> in the woods working hard so i thought green would be a proper color for this and of course if you want to you can always go back uh finish this up with turning the headlights on and the and the leds on it looks cool anyway this is the before and after oh i almost forgot we need to change the the most important thing of this redesign is to change the uh remove this uh, this logo to have it centered. So that's what I'm doing right here. And that's about it for this video. I hope uh, my friend Brian likes this. Not sure. I'm going to ask him right now. What do you think about this? Uh, this is the before and after again. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. 
this was fun. I love. I actually like doing trucks because because of the lift kit. That's the most fun part of these trucks. I hope to see you in the next one. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, as always, hit the dislike button. And if you like these videos in general, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Have a fantastic day and take it easy, guys.